Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Net the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. We're back in Rivia, I think, if I'm correct. I don't think the map actually states this, but I'm guessing we're now in Rivia since we crossed the bridge of Rivia. We're back in Golden Armor, and yeah, we're just back in general. We uh, left Geralt behind. Well, not really. Geralt left us behind. I'm going to explain that in a second. But first, Spy Master letters. So the fourth letter from Captain Tobias. Sir Majesty, I've received word you've crossed into Rivia, leading a sizable army. Words cannot express how much I rejoice at your return. I fully believe the final victory over the invader is at hand. At court, tension reigns. The lords who supported the enemy have suddenly grown spines. Prince Willem prepares to leave Lyria without the Nilfgaardian's knowledge, though I do not know where he will go. Many envoys from the Empire arrive, judging by General Abdahis or Abdahis expression, they do not bring him good news. The general's position might be weaker than is widely taught. He will attempt, I will attempt to learn more, may fortune be with you, my lady, and may we meet next in the capital. Then a letter from General Abdei himself, Meave, the dethroned and dishonored one, queen of Lyria and Rivia, welcome back to Rivia, your highness. As you soon shall see, this land has changed somewhat in your absence. The walls of Rivia's towns I found in ruins, they have now been rebuilt and reinforced, and the garrisons guarding them doubled in respect to their earlier numbers. Each settlement is now also defended by ballistae, catapults, and trebuchets of the highest caliber. We expect you shall pay us a visit. We await you with open arms. Then the report from Rivia itself. Substantial enemy forces still stationed in Kingdom. Large well-armed garrisons in all cities, most important Rivia Castle. Capturing it essential to retaking the Kingdom, populace hates invader and eagerly awaits chance to avenge occupation. Gathering new recruits should not present much difficulty, support from townsfolk during siege also suspected. And on the night, so the desertion of Geralt of Rivia. There we go, a bit more information. On the night of September 5th to 6th, desertion of the following persons noted. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Emil Regis, Barber Surgeon and also a higher vampire. Mary Baring, or Maria Baring as she's called in the books. Ilias Milva, an archer. Kehir Abkelak, Nilfgaardian fugitive, and Julian Alfred Pankratz, or even the Lettenhove if you take his full name, Elias Dandelion, itinerant troubadour, deserters stole four horses, three cavalry mounts, and one civilian mount, and a mule wanted notices distributed. So the reason for Geralt's desertion is actually because he's already sought after by the, uh, well, the Northern Realm's armies. He was almost killed by one of them, since the uh, Sintran army feels like he's the fault that uh, Queen Calante, Ciri's grandmother, and in their mind also Ciri, actually died. But of course that was not the case. And by this time everybody is actually looking for Ciri, and they think that Geralt knows where she is. So Geralt doesn't trust anybody, that's why he left even the safety of Queen Neve's army. So that's basically the explanation for that. Because Siri, of course, means everything to him. So, Rivia, we have ourselves Nilfgaardian banners. The, day. the Queen's returned. Indeed. Oh, this, your grace. Black clads have shut themselves up in our cities. They give no hint of surrender, show no sign of giving ground. My, my. What'll become of Prince Willem now? Good question. We gather donations to support the war effort, helping best we can to beat those black clad devils. Ah, and there we go, we get a thousand coins. Never thought I'd see the There we go. So, I'm wondering why he left that at the end. So, we needed to speak to him multiple times to get that. Milady, our soldiers are losing patience. They can't bear to see Nilfgaardian flags fly on our kingdom's borders. They long to see the Rivian coat of arms claim its rightful place. Your Grace, I know more urgent matters require your attention, but this would surely raise morale. Uh, since this is the last chapter, I'm going to try to spend a bit of my resources since we won't have another use for them, I suppose. So there we go. New banner. Look at that. The Rivian banner. Uh, anything else over here? There's more resources. Because we got money from Rivian. that guy. And here I feared I would see it no more. I believed you would. I believed you could succeed. Be victorious, your grace. We've not arrived just yet, Reynard. Look. Black flags still flutter over the cities. We've yet much work before us. More battles to fight. More blood to spill. 
Definitely. And we'll uh, finish this in style. We still have a lot of allies. We still have Egg. We still have Isbel. We still have Brainerd. We still have Gascon. Um, Nickers, of course. Can't forget about Nickers. Let's battle our first fort. In the barracks, Meave had witnessed the living conditions of many barracks. They typically smelled of boiled cabbage, sweaty food rags, and cheap hooch. The Nilf Guardian barracks, however, proved of a different sort. Cleanliness and tidiness were highly valued, and Meave watched with satisfaction as her soldiers' filthy mud cake boots tracked across their immaculate, polished floors. So, standard battle against Nilf Guardians. I think the first few battles will probably be normal battles. But we have a Skelligan army in our back, so can't forget about Arniolf as well. But uh, let's do... there we go, Arniolf. Uh, let's start with the Skelligers. So let's start off with an Arethusa oh, attack, oh, and to we'll this. double up on this crazed Brawlers. There we go. And then we can end the turn. They're in veterans, strengthen all copies of this unit in hand, so they boost them by two every time. We kind of know the Nilf Guardian units. He probably does damage to the amount of allied units. Yeah, there we go. We know about that. Let's play the War Wagon. Pull them back with Meave. And then let's play another War Wagon and Barnabas. Although the War Wagon is going to come out, right? So let's just go with the drummer and Barnabas then. So drummer again and again and Barnabas. What? Oh, yes, yes, I'm on it. Heal an ally strengthened by ten. Transform a damage unit into a bear or damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to fifteen and boost the lowest by fifth by the amount of damage. That one. There we go. Have we boost one of our light infantry units by twelve? Because the armor took uh, a bit of that. There we go. Nice start. Scrubbing duty again? Oh, gods. So, we know the drummer will be able to pull another war wagon. Right for the taking. And then a uh, disgraced warrior. Come on, kill me! Simple as that. We could add charges. Although, I think I'm just going to play Arniolf over here. There we go. To the so next time anybody uses an order ability, he will get boosted. Boost out by two and gain two armor. But uh, the Devana runestone is not an order ability. And blood isn't either. So let's just play blood. And if we're lucky... Oh. Um, hmm. Let's play the Aretusa Adapts and then Reinforcements. So those go in the graveyard, so including sadly Docker Two Blades, but maybe we have a way to pull them back. Um, then. <sighs> More Disgraced learns. Warriors is never a bad thing. And then the Reinforcements, use that on the. I have seven on each row, so I can play four more units. So I'm gonna play the rest of the drummers. Kinda made a mistake there, didn't, didn't really wanna do that, but uh, there we go, regiment drummer. And that's it for now. I could damage the Alba Cavalry veteran, but I'm not gonna do that just now. I think we might even get a pass. Yeah, there we go. Not no problem there, so let's just pass as well. Sadly, we lost Dagu. But there's still plenty of ways we can uh, circumvent that. So first up, the Grey Rider. As you can this next round. And we'll try to get the most out of the Wagenberg. There we go, he damages the armor, which is fine. Then play the Wagenberg. That's five. Let's reshuffle the Grey Rider back into there. I think we could play the Grey Rider and a War Wagon. So, Grey Rider over here. Naturally. And War Wagon over you here. Try to win them all, you won't. So, that's 10 armor on the Wagenberg already. 
Let's end the turn. Now, let's put the onager down over here and try to get rid of that armor. 10 armor, that's a lot. I'm gonna wait one more turn to do something with that because, yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Well, I can start damaging his armor already, which is not a problem for now at least. Then I have six units on that road, so I can use the Devana runestone to duplicate light infantry units and destroy them. Boosting up the Wagenberg, getting us three charges on the Onager, and dealing three times six damage, which is fine. Then let's damage the armor of these guys again. And I could damage them. I'm gonna wait one more turn. more where those come from but it's best that they just yeah keep doing that because if that row is full i might as well get the full benefit from it a forager oh so i lost actually ah I lost armor that's a problem um i have to see about that in a second let's end the turn So more where that came from. Now. Can play the Disgraced Warrior up top. Is today the day? Then we use the Forager to take out two light infantry units. That does that, but not much else. Um, let's get rid of that armor. And maybe even a bit of that armor. Can't do much more just yet, so let's wait one more turn. Because in the next turn, I think I can use my Meave ability. Yeah, I can. So, first things first. Let's play a Forager on the lower row. Let's do more armor. And then we can use Meave to pull back the War Wagon. There we go. And then play another war wagon and the Rivian Sapper. So the war wagon goes up there. Although if I put that up here, I get three charges. Now we can use the Rivian Sapper to destroy more units. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five, and six about. It also moves the forager around. And we can use this forager to destroy two more units of ours. And get five charges on the Rivian Onager. That's 12 on the Wagenberg, so let's do that on that entire row. Almost destroying it, and we can use the Rivian Onager to clean up the rests. There we go. And then use the Disgraced Warrior to kill the last one. There we go. Cleaned up the field rather nicely. And then the turn. Hail Herzer. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna outplay my cards here. So let's just do this. right? Then use the Onager to get rid of that armor. And use the Disgraced Warrior to damage it further. And the turn. Yes. And then use Meave's Marching Orders to reduce her cooldown. Get the Disgraced Warrior back. And then we can use hmm, the Lyrian Blacksmith and the Lyrian Hushduk. So blacksmith over here. Something from nothing. It's exactly what I do. And let's replay marching orders. Like this. And then the Hashtook gets two charges over here. Life at me flowers. Now here I'm marching proud. 
then use Meave and Granny Blade to get the Hushduke back in. And play our final cards, which is gonna be... I still haven't put Reynard in the back. I need to do that. I really need to do that. Then let's replay the Rivian Onager and the Forager. So the Onager over here. And then the Forager... About over here. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. So that means two over here that are taken. And the trinket, we can take that as well. The banner. That's a lot of charges over here. Let's start with the Wagenberg. And then just finish off any remaining troops with the Onagers. There we go. And that clears out his hand as well. And I think we won that with ease. 185 to zero. There we go. Oh yeah, do your worst. Goodbye, North Guardians. So, easily taken out in two rounds. We still got this, we still got this. From Duke Ardalab Day, Sergeant Queen Meave approaches Rivia. Though her ultimate failure is assured, we cannot rule out the possibility that she will breach the cordon at the border. Thus, I recommend all outpost commanders to conceal the vision and treasuries. In the unlikely event of failure at the border, our resources shall nevertheless not fall into enemy hands. Mark the location of your hidden coffers on a map and dispatch it to high command immediately. And there we go, we have the map. That seems to be right in the, in the back here. No, it's with Rivian, with Nilfgaardian banner, so I don't think it's actually here. But we do get a bit of resources from these guys. Which is always handy. We got monsters over there as well. On the other side of the camp. The Nilf Guardians aren't as clean as we think they are. So let's use that to get to full morale again. Oh no, that's a mass grave. Milady, this pit, body spilin. Appear to be peasants, their hands bound and throats slit. Look at sound, hear the music swelling up. Has every look of a mass execution. What would you have us do? Proper burial, of course. A proper burial. There we go. We're back in our lands. We need to be friendly to these people. Oh. It's a, it's a different type of version. It's a di different variation on the Thronebreaker team, actually. Da -da. I'm a bit of a music fan. I mean, that score is great. There we go. We get our money back immediately. Now it's this. Meave needed but set one foot into the Ruwode to know something was amiss. The sickening stench of rot hung in the air. Flies swarmed in thick clouds and crows cawed in a deafening cacophony. What had caused this murder to amass? Well, Meave's scouts soon found out. Your Majesty. Reported a certain Sergeant Nadamur. Not far from here, past the bend, there's a cutting and... It's full of bodies. Our boys in the black clads alike. Bodies mutilated. Horribly so. Guts ripped up. Entrails strewn about. Heads locked. Somewhere. Well, uh, yes? Branches. Embrace him. Grip him tight. As if the trees. They strangled him. Okay, that sounds like a woodland spirit. Hearing this, the Queen ordered a halt to their march. They would go no further, she thought, till they knew what had killed those men. Luckily, witnesses were soon found. A haggard band of resin burners emerged from a nearby dugout, black with dirt, covered in dried blood. Mulaney. Their eldest stammered. Blackings came and started felling the wood. Force folk to chop away, to make way for a town, they said. They pushed hard. Right to the heart of the forest, where the old oaks grow, and awoke some foulness. The old, old camp, black clads and loggers alike. Done in one night. No time even to draw their weapons. We was lucky. Found pits to hide in. Just heard of something puffed and puffed. While talking to the trees, no less. Reynard ordered medics to tend to the tar makers. 
then turned to Neve. We cannot wash our hands of this, Your Grace. The Nilfgaardians awoke the monster, yes, but it kills Rivians just as readily. Raynard speaks words of wisdom and honor, Your Grace. Ake interjected. Tis our duty to slay the beast, no matter the cost in our own blood. Seems like we don't have an opposing voice Neve there. stood at the edge of the clearing and pricked her ears. The Ruwode echoed with the cawing of crows, which seemed to perch on its every twig. She also heard the howling of wolves and a hollow rattling, as if branches whipped in the wind, though the day was fair and still. That Geralt, he just had to desert me. The queen removed her cloak to avoid snags and trundled toward the heart of the wood. Her soldiers followed, clutching cocked crossbows to sweaty cheeks. Okay, I thought there was going to be more, but uh, that sounds like a Thank lesson, you, right? Your Majesty, you'll protect us from the black clads and monstrosities. Them black clads don't understand the forest, don't understand nature. They rape it, try to take too much too fast. They rape it. That was weirdly pronounced, not that I want to talk. Okay, 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 you told them. I, Queen Meave, hereby proclaim that upon regaining my throne I shall raise the Geld and poll tax threefold in order to ensure the realm's populace has appropriately compensated the royal treasury for wartime expenses incurred. Similarly, I shall increase compulsory labor twofold. Whosoever attempts to withhold property from royal collectors shall have their hands severed at the wrists and their eyes gouged out with a red hot iron. So that's definitely not one of our letters. So Nilfgaard is setting up the people against us. Your Majesty, a tree's been snapped clear in half and now blocks the road. I know not what's to blame, but it's clearly not the handiwork of man. What are your orders? Shall the engineers remove it from our path? Yes, of course. There we go. So we definitely need to spend resources to move forward here, which is not a bad thing. We have monsters over there, so that's the monster camp we saw. But how is the map laid out here? So there's something over here as well. I think we're going to go over there, because that's going to be the woodland spirit. Because it needs to be in the heart of the forest, obviously. So this is, yeah, there it is. There it is, right on cue. Let's just grab this. And uh, let's hit it in the face. Oh, wait, more resources. So, sorry, Woodland Spirit, give me a second. More resources. There we go. Deep in the wood, it grew cool with a thin fog filling the air. Neve pushed past a large branch of hazel and froze. Before her stood a tall figure, nearly human in form, save the moss covered deer skull in place of its head. Empty eye sockets burning with naked flame, the monstrosity hurled itself at Meave with a roar. Rally to me! cried Meave, raising her shield. Everyone! Anyone! To me! Dum 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 dum. So we get the large monster music again. The Guardian of Ruwood. Did that? What? That's 700. The monster encountered by the Lyrians in Ruwood is known to simple folk as a Leshen. Called it. They believe it defends the forests against those who do greedily harvest nature's bounty. Of course, the scholars of Oxenford argue this is nonsense, and that Alashan, or rather Sylvanus Agilis, is simply one of many post-conjunction beings. In truth, it did not matter to Meave who was right, so we eliminate the Alashan, but if it has 700, I don't see how I'm gonna defeat that straight on. Probably gonna be something special about this fight, and I don't know what to choose in that case, of course. Egg is gonna come in handy, the reinforcements might not as much. Be wary. We know not what this thing can do. Indeed, we do not. What have we got ourselves into this time? Hello, Barnabas. Forgot about you. Wolves. Boost wolf minions by four. Increase the damage taken by Leshen's weak spot by eight. Whenever this unit deal takes damage, deal bonus damage of zero. The amount of bonus damage increases by one whenever it takes damage. Okay, so we get, they can do bonus damage whenever we deal damage to it. Which is interesting. Every two turns, on turn start, move to the other row and damage all units on the opposite row by two. That wish, increase the damage taken by Leshen's weak spot by four. I would think we play blood first. Yeah, let's play blood first. 
And now we can use the Rivian Onager. Uh, wait. Ooh, that's a lot of good cards. And I do want to get the Rivian Onager. I don't feel like they're doing damage just yet. So let's create a trinket and then use the Rivian Onager. Let's go in the graveyard. And then we can play a trinket. Feel any burning? See a we got two units and set their power to one. Boost all the allies by one, two, and damage the enemies by two and transform. So let's go with Wolf's Pain. Oh, we can't draw those units. God damn it. That was a mistake. I made a mistake. Let's do this. And this. So now we get eight on the lesson, right? Yeah, bonus damage of eight. Now Meave. Let's pull back Barnabas. And use... Definitely Arnulf. Because he's getting more damage out of more units on the field. Yeah, Slingers. So Arnulf in the back. And the Slingers on the front. There we go. Let's end the turn. They get more and more boosted, of course, but the Aratusa adapts on the war wagon. Oh, oh, Lady Margarita told us of this. The war wagon, definitely. Let's boost that. Then we can deal damage on the Leshen. Three damage, but it does eight extra. And then deal damage on the Wolves and the Leshen, like this. And we get more and more damage on there. Fine for now. A fascinating specimen. I must study it once we finished. Every two turns we move around again and we get damage. So we have armor so we can deal with that at least once. Uh, if we can start to kill one of those wolf minions that would be nice. Then... The Rivian Onager... Has two charges. And one is for... Well, both of them are going to go to the Raven. And the turn. Now, let's put the War Wagon over here. Because that's going to get... You can try to all those Light Infantry units won't. killed automatically. Then we can actually do 5 damage on the Raven minion if we want to. Um... It's going to work in our favor, though. Although, you know what? No, I don't want to risk it. There we go. Increases the weak spot damage again. But I need to start doing damage. And the wolves are getting boosted. The wolves are getting boosted. Um, let's get the drummer in. Left, I'm setting up right, a lot of stuff here. Left, but that's, of course, right. with a reason. Five damage on the wolf minion. And then the turn. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get damaged ourselves. So we're losing the benefit of egg a bit there, but... Uh, damage a wolf. Then get the drummer to get this guy over here. And then double charges on the... Only to wait, there's seven on that row, so that's fine. Not going into the spray already, are we? Putting a foraging next to the light infantry units. One man's battlefield is I clear that out a bit. That's for harvest. That's one wolf down. Then we damage those two armored wolves. And this one. Uh, damage that one wolf by one. Takes it out as well. So now we do 30 bonus damage with each hit. Neve. Use her to get rid of the forager. And then play a war wagon and a sapper. War wagon and a sapper. War wagon on the lower row. And a sapper on the top row. Like this, this, take out all the light infantry units as we usually do, and then take out, do we damage the wolves further? I think I'm going to put those to a multiple of six, 
So that means that I can at least kill this. There we go. Do we kill another one? That's eight again. So for me to do four times that... No, I'm just going to do it on the lesson. I think we might almost have it already. Because it also increases the damage every time we damage it. And there we go, almost there. So with one more charge from Arniel, this is going to be over. Yeah, it's done. Goodbye. Believe it's dead. Whatever that means for such a thing. Thank you, Gascon, for that blatantly obvious statement. But uh, there we go, lashing down. Attacked from all sides, the monster teetered and swayed, fighting off their blows with ever greater difficulty. Finally, it fell to the ground and fell apart like an undone bundle of twigs. In disbelief, Meave towed the pile of dried branches and scraps of bark. She saw no blood, no entrails, as if no monster had ever stood there. As if it had all been a dream. Well, it's kind of a spectre-type monster, so makes sense. We return to the road, Meave said, crushing the beast's deer-like skull under her heel. Ah, and Reynard, I've a request. Yes, Your Grace? Once we regain the realm and return to the capital, remind me to issue an edict. No one is to enter these woods, not to log nor even to gather brush. Just in case. Those dwelling near the Ruwode heaved a sigh of relief. And the Lyrians returned to fighting an invader who, after what they'd faced in those woods, no longer seemed so frightening. Indeed. Because the lesson is a lot worse. I do see a lot of entrails there. And uh, entrails that actually contain a lot of stuff. Which is fine. This... wait, is this a path or not? No, okay. Because I feel like there might be hidden paths in this wood. But we didn't get an extra card, which is fine, I suppose. There's a few more resources over here, but that's pretty much it for this part of the wood. There's still monsters on the north, but I'm going to keep that until the next episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode in Rivia. And there's more where that came from. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.